Oh, oh, it's like mattress dominoes at a dorm where people are really gonna get injured. Honestly, if I ran an urgent care, my eyes would be like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> The child can't help. That is physics. Oh, no way, he got clipped. Oh my God, spring loaded and multiple hits. It was like getting jabbed by Manny Pacquiao or like Floyd Mayweather. Have you seen that video of Floyd Mayweather jabbing the boxing bag, that snap? Listen. Just a little bit of Morton's toe. Oh wow, that's that's a lot happening here. Morton's toe is a form of uh, brachymetatarsia. And it's also different than Morton's neuroma, which also happens in the feet. But ironically, they were named after two different Mortons. <laughs> and it obviously predisposes you to all sorts of foot pain, more likely to develop calluses. But there's like numbers where like 30 to 40% of people have Morton's toe. And there's been all sorts of names for it, like Greek toe, Greek foot, Morton's foot. Me and bro realizing myocardial infarction is the same thing as a heart attack. <laughs> you know the one thing I don't understand? When someone has a myocardial infarction, we say they have a heart attack. When someone has a stroke, which is a form of basically myocardial infarction just in the brain, we don't say brain attack. Can we start that? Can we start saying I had a brain attack? Vote down below and let us know. Brain attack, you in or you out? <laughs> Yeah, honestly, my left shoulder. Okay, it's not that I never rehab, it's that I don't rehab enough and I take breaks from the rehab. What folks don't understand is a lot of times when they have pain, it's happening as a result of deconditioning of major support muscles. This happens with low back pain, it happens with shoulder pain, neck pain. I can't tell you the amount of times that someone has low back pain that they think is a disc issue when the reality is a weak butt issue, a weak gluteus maximus. I don't know why I like saying the Latin names of muscles makes me feel smarter. I know they're called hemorrhoids, but I feel like we missed an opportunity to call them asteroids. Oh yeah, but that would sound like they're from outer space. Although Uranus is in outer space. Ooh, Steffi. Oh, That's <laughs> 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 pretty good. <laughs> Lucky he didn't cut his foot on that sharp rock. That would have been problematic. Rocking out some pretty good push-ups with good form there too. Impressive. When you're wearing hospital scrubs and you lean over too far, <laughs> everything falls out of your pockets. That's why I wear my own scrubs and not the hospital scrubs. But that's because I'm not operating. Otherwise, everything just... <laughs> oh, hey, seal. Oh, is the seal about to fall? Oh, isn't a seal like 550 pounds? It looks you're awake. How long have I been asleep for? 10 years. Wow. What time is it? 6 a.m. <laughs> Honestly, waking up from a coma is pretty fatiguing. Imagine you have not been sending signals to your muscles to work, and now you need them to work. The neuromuscular connection isn't there. It takes time, rehab. So shout out my physical therapist, occupational therapist, the people that help folks get moving again, and speech pathologists, because they not only help you learn how to speak again, but also help with swallowing evaluations and getting people to eat safely. And it, <laughs> he ate it. Honestly, I think because there's nothing behind that metal thing, it just made a really loud noise like a drum. I don't think there was serious damage, but wow, that sucked. Hey Kyle, it smells like wrong dog in here. What's wrong dog? Everything. Aww. I wish someone asked me what's wrong dog. This is me live looking at you. And this is me live looking at the dog. Bear. Newf. <laughs> <laughs> Hard work and dedication. Okay, I'm gonna have a controversial opinion here. It is hard work and dedication to be lifting weights. I just don't know the consistency at which this person's doing it because based off their muscles, I have no idea. This is likely oil injections and this is terrible. Actually, the last person we've seen do these types of injections in order to enhance the size of their muscles ended up losing their life. It was like a huge New York Post article about it. When you drink 2000 milligrams of caffeine because your heart is a muscle and you need to train till failure. First of all, obviously no, because 2000 milligrams of caffeine is five times the maximal dose, the daily dose that we say. Number two, skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle are not the same. In fact, if I grow my bicep, everyone's like dope. And I'm like, cool, I'm healthy. But if my heart gets bigger and it hypertrophies, that can lead to cardiac muscle failure, cardiomyopathy. Oh my God. 
Oh my God. Oh my God. What people don't understand is the brachial arteries right there, if that gets severed, she dies in seconds. And now he's going after the femoral artery. Yo, this, this tiger knows what's up. He knows the weak points of the human body. Three, two, one, get it. Why are these getting more and more violent? Do people not care about their well-being? I mean, so much could have happened there. Spinal injury. Do we know if that person's okay? He was a mannequin, not a person. Oh, <laughs> thank God. We got him, boys. My we should make me wear a heart rate monitor so you could see my pulse go up the and know that that was legit. Heart rate yeah. Oh. He told me to film him do this trick. There's not enough weight in the thing. I feel like it's gonna flip over. <laughs> Oh, no, it did it. Oh, that is. <laughs> See, people don't realize that looks not so dangerous because like he didn't take a hard hit, but the fact that he twisted in that unique way, nerve compression can occur and you can develop a spinal contusion and it could take weeks to heal from and you can have all sorts of symptoms, weakness, nerve pain, numbness, tingling, sensation loss, all this unique stuff. Be careful. If you're hungry, you can smell my apple. <laughs> I can't. I'm like... On Ozempic. Why, you have like diabetes or something? Not diabetes. Is this a joke? The nails fall out. Do you like out. not know what Ozempic is? Oh my God, that was probably the best. Kardashian impression I've seen in a while. And I don't even watch the show. But yeah, the Ozempic mania is real. I've done several videos on it, including a long form podcast. My concern for the Ozempic thing is, I think about how the fast food industry and the hyper processed food industry has made it so that we failed to lose weight through traditional diet and exercise. When doctors recommend it, it doesn't seem to work. So then we moved on to medication in order to help people lose weight. And then attention spans are gonna dwindle because of TikTok and so forth. Are we gonna start giving people Adderall? I don't know. I feel like we're gonna be this hyper medicated society. I wasn't prepared for it. That's all I'll say. Oh, my boy. I didn't know until I was in my 30s. Hot spoons reduce the itchiness of mosquito bites. I don't know if that necessarily works because bringing more circulation to an area where there's already edema and swelling. I think you can just burn yourself. Dr. Mike, I'm sure you don't approve of this, so please remember <laughs> don't approve this is of just this. an internet video. Ow! Oh, is the hot spoon like really hot? Like he's burning himself? Like you just damage your skin. I think I would prefer to have a mis itchy mosquito bite than a, a burn. Because you know what most people don't realize? When you get like a cut, a scab, a burn, when it heals, it itches too. That's why people pick at scabs. They get itchy as they heal. In fact, that's a reassuring sign that your wound is healing. So this is home sweet home for the next about eight hours. So I brought all my essentials. Um, water, so I'll drink two of these every hour. Drink two of these every hour, sit in a first class seat so you can extend your legs fully and walk unobstructed with no one else sitting near you. This is an analemo. So what this will do is this will actually restructure water. So when I put it down- Oh down my down God. Stir it, it will restructure that water. How did we survive millennia without the restructuring of water? I don't think people are aware of the words that they're using these days. Bone smashing is a disturbing trend what that has gained smashing? popularity among young people, especially teenagers, who resort to hammering down on their facial bones to achieve a chiseled and sharp look. <laughs> is that a percussion This practice gun? involves intentionally fracturing bones Oh, whoa, they're literally doing that? To create a more aesthetically pleasing appearance, such as bigger cheekbones. But isn't that what surgeons do? Like, that's what a plastic surgeon should do, not on yourself. You know in Black Mirror, when they show reactions and things happening on social media, you're like, that would never happen. They're just trying to dramatize. No, 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 folks, it's happening. Is it true? that you have never knowingly eaten a vegetable in your life. That is true. <laughs> he says it so powerfully. That is true. And I guess what I've proven, Chris, is that man does not need vegetables to survive. I mean, yes, but there's a lot of things that we don't need to survive unless you want to survive optimally. You are just one person, and what may have worked for you does not mean that that then becomes a rule that you've proven. Oh, is that a bee? It's one of those bumblebees. Don't bumblebees don't sting? <coughs> Why did it go into his nostril? Oh my God, how did he capture that on video? That was too incredible. I would get some nasal saline as quickly as possible to rinse that area out. Chemicals, full, 
of chemicals. What chemicals exactly? All of just, just all of them? Okay, all of them. Toxins. Toxins. <laughs> Is it the same as chemicals where it's also just all of them? Detox. Is that not what the kidneys and the liver are for? No, just, oh, supplements. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, a course about wellness is literally just saying buzzwords that flag emotions in people's minds. And they've group test this to see that it works. And it's very, very powerful. I'm sorry, do we have to join an MLM? <laughs> The MLMs, man, the multi-level marketing schemes are so problematic. They encourage you to sell to the point where you don't even care if it's helping people. You just want to make the sale because that ultimately benefits you. When it comes to that and you're involved in that, you should really be taking a hard look at yourself and your values and see if you align with what you're doing. Dad built a 75 foot slip and slide and attempted to launch himself into an inflatable pool. Don't go on your roofs, your roofs. It's not a good idea, especially as a father. Oh my God. Oh my God. His poor vertebrae, his pelvis, his ischial tuberosities are struggling right now. Wow, that's a crazy stretch. This is some kind of hypermobility because going past 180 degrees here is problematic because of potential recurrent injury unless you work with a really good physical therapist, strength and stability and et cetera, et cetera. But you are gonna be predisposed to higher rates of injury. <laughs> You're a med student on rounds presenting the plan your resident gave you and now they are disagreeing. <laughs> this is a betrayal on levels that no one's ever seen. You know what happens all the time? When I get a patient that I spent an hour interviewing because I wanted to knock it out of the park for my senior doctor that I'm working with. I'm literally asking them questions that don't even pertain to this illness because I want to have a thorough history. And then the preceptor, the senior doctor walks into the room and in front of the patient, I start telling them the story and the patient disagrees with me. I'm like, bro, you just told me all of this. I have it documented here. And sometimes they don't even defend you. They just get more angry because they're not in a good mood because they're sick and that should be understandable. But then you get thrown under the bus and you get a bad grade. Now you're ranking lower in your class. You can't get the residency spot you wanted. So you ask for a recommendation letter. They shut you down. You feel like a failure. Then you need to go to therapy. You spend a lot of money on therapy. And then you end up becoming a social media influencer, plugging hydroxycut. Ooh. Shade throw. Ooh. Oh, cool down, Mike. Cool down. There's a pole glued to this gentleman's head, and the guy looks kind of like swaggy, like he has cool glasses on, like a leathery jacket. But what what am I looking at? Is he an arugula head? But what 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 why? How do we just see a clip of a gentleman saying that he eats no vegetables with a man that says he glues vegetables to his head? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh my God. Oh my God, is that 10 feet? Oh my God. Whoa. Is that the same dog after it got injured? Oh. <laughs> yeah, but that's unfair. That's a rocking chair. It's not at one smooth motion. I would stop filming and help the poor dog. It's learning how to use its limbs. What's the one thing that your optometrist doesn't want you to know about? The fact that the eyeglass and sunglass industry is run by like two or three major players. The fact that you do not need glasses. This is like the, your dentist didn't want you to know that brushing your teeth is unnecessary. There are mental, emotional, physical, and even spiritual reasons why you may not be seeing. And I'm here to tell you that that can be healed. So when we perform LASIK surgery and we fix people's eyesights, what do you think we're doing? Spiritually fixing them? If a man drank this tea for two weeks straight, this is what would happen. He would spend money that he didn't need to spend. He would potentially be putting unknown particles into his body because usually what's listed in the ingredients is not what's actually in the thing. If everyone is healthy and at their all time best, big pharma companies would lose. No, they wouldn't. People would still get sick because not everything is caused by environmental causes and our bodies still break down because of aging. If you want to change your life into something that you never thought was possible, hit the shop button and- No, don't. I do not endorse that product. I say don't buy that product at all costs. In fact, I would say please don't buy that product simply because of the recklessness of that ad. It's a fugazi, it's a wazi, it's a woozy, it's a fairy dust. It doesn't exist. It's never landed. It is no matter. It's <sighs> oh. 
know, man, when I would talk to cardiologists reading uh, EKG, and I'd be like, but I don't understand. This doesn't match. What you're saying is not exactly normal. There's still this irregular. They're like, don't worry about it. Because if you look at this, this, and this, this is the reassuring sign. And I'm like, but it looks like they're having a heart attack. But talk to the patient. Are they having a heart attack? Do you feel it? And I'm like, none of this is by textbook. You're literally doing this as you go. You figure it out as you go. And then you have to realize medicine is about combining book knowledge with experience, with communication skills, and a little bit of artistry. There's just like that perfect little concoction. Rheumatologist after ordering a million tests just to start prednisone. <laughs> Okay, this is funny, but I'll explain why it's necessary. A lot of times, rheumatologists are sent patients with very non-specific symptoms that require broad workup. Part of it is ordering all sets of autoimmune labs based on what the symptoms are in the patient. That's why it's important to have a good line of communication with your primary care doctor to see if that's warranted, or is there something simpler that can be as a cause of your symptoms rather than doing that million dollar workup. Hey, what's up? This is a message from your ankle. I guess I really snap. Snap, snap. Went and got you laid up on your back. Take a nap. Get the ankle wrap. Wrap, wrap. Take the time you need to rest, recover, and adapt. I swear I'll be better. Girl, I'm down forever. Yeah, we broke up, but we're getting back together. Speaking as a man, I plan to. Speaking as your ankle, best believe I understand you. I want my ankle to wrap to me. My ankle gets swollen from time to time. Here are some images. It hurts, but it's never once wrapped to me, especially in that silky smooth voice. Wow. I would throw in something about deltoid ligament. <laughs> or the anterior talofibular ligament. Just to make it a little bit more confusing, because when you use medical jargon, it feels right. Living 12 years in the midst of your own waste is a problem, and that was what happened on this episode of Hoarders, but I did not like how they handled it. So click here to check out my reaction, and as always, stay happy and healthy.